It's the Troy Murphy Show here on Tailwest FM 99.7. Now, ladies and gentlemen, most civilized countries have long considered burping one of the most embarrassing things a person can do in public. Now, the World Burping Federation in Geneva is trying to change people's opinion, and their first attempt was the first edition of the Burping Championship, held in New York City. Uh, never mind. Uh, I was going to sing the New York thing, but um, I won't. Or make the uh, the joke that you know New York, New York, so good they never twice. <sighs> bad, bad Troy for making bad jokes. Anyway, this first annual World, Bur World Burping Championship had uh, uh, competitors guzzling down gallons of soft drink in order to produce the longest burp possible. The five contestants chosen to take part in this unusual event weren't just regular beer guggle, uh, guzzlers who, who like to let loose a few burps every once in a while. No, they were all competitive eaters with major league eating, which meant the whole contest would be a whole lot more interesting. Unlike regular burpers, these guys can fit, uh, can, could fill their bellies with gallons of carbonated drinks, making them more qualified produ to produce a burp worthy of the record books. Let me tell you it was. Uh, now, for those who are not disgusted by this story so far and keen to learn more, <laughs> I delight in telling you that the winner was a 35-year-old guy known as Tim Eater X Janus. Uh, he took home the title of bur World Burping Champion after producing an impressive 18.1 second long burp after guzzling down two gallons, which is just over seven and a half litres of Mountain Dew and Diet Coke. A winning combination. He was quoted as uh, saying after he, he won... Um, no, I won't do an American accent. Too hard. Uh, I was just trying to condense all the air in my stomach and bring it to the surface. You just have to force up every last bit of air. It's beautiful, really. Not quite sure what he meant by it being beautiful. I can only assume he was talking about the art of burping. Now, back to the world competition. The contest was organised by the World Burping Federation, an obscure body that's trying to eliminate the embarrassing association with burping in public. The World Burping Federation is here to dispel the stigma of the uh, of an essential and somewhat uh, some would say necessary uh, function. That's their actual you know quote thing there on their <laughs> website. Yeah, they're also, uh, they also say that after a fantastic meal, one should be able to burp with enthusiasm and intensity and be rewarded for that. Don't know how you're rewarded uh, for a good burp, but I guess it's a self-reward. You know, the self-pleasure of, you know, releasing the gash from the stomach. Uh, <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm uh, still on the fence with this one. Not quite sure where I stand. On one hand, this is gross and disgusting, but... Am I being prejudiced? Am I being a burpist? You know, like a racist, but for burping. A burpist. <laughs> Are my old school traditions holding me back from what is a totally natural body function? Should I embrace this newfound love of the uh, burp in society and join in and belch my pleasure of a fine meal after its digestion? Should I stop holding back and when I need to burp just out, let it out, let, let the little fella out, not caring if there is uh, you know, too much noise, yet at the same time being cautious enough that there is no follow through, if you know what I mean. I can burp on cue, one of my many hidden talents. Uh, <laughs> should I start burping on cue? more often as comes more socially acceptable in society thanks to the wonderful people at the World 
Federation, <laughs> or should I just shut El Burp Hole and be a dignified human being like everyone else and not embrace the, uh, the, the burp? Instead, you know, look down my nose at those who do burp. Uh, oh, the choices. Oh, the pain. Oh, the... <coughs> okay, this is starting to make me sick. Time to wrap this baby up. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I shared this story with you. I guess it's just one of those weird, wacky and wonderful stories from around the world uh, that I just could not resist uh, in talking about.